with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with a box. <laughs> um, this is my Sacred Space Crate for February 2022. Super excited. I love Sacred Space Crate. Yay! <laughs> and if you guys are new to my channel, uh, hello and welcome on my channel. I like to do lots of witchy things and one of those things is open witchy subscription boxes. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get in here. And if that sounds like something that you guys would like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe! Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> I said that on my last video, so. Subscribe! Do it! Do it! Do it! Have you guys seen that video with Shia, Le Shia LaBeouf? It's like, or Shia LaBeouf, or however to say his name. The guy from Transformers, and he was also in one of my favorite movies, Constantine. I think that was one of his first movies, or I don't know. I feel like it was one of his first movies. That's where I first saw him. Anyways, he has some video, and he's like, do it! <laughs> I'm in a really good mood today. I mean, like, I'm pretty much always in a good mood. Alright, so we've got Sacred Clearing Box, is what it says. What is that all about? Okay. Oh, I see a sticker that may have given it away. Alright. First off, oh, how pretty! I'm glad I finally got this calendar, because it's, like... February 8th, but we got our February calendar. Look at the artwork. I love it so much. I cannot wait until me and my boyfriend, like, we're either gonna build a house or buy a house. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. He's like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> that's hilarious. But you know, they, you know, animals do that kind of thing. Uh, anyways, when me and my boyfriend move to somewhere warm, I can't wait. Um, one of my, one of my needs and wants is like a really great tub. All right, so sacred clearing. We start off February with in bulk, the time of year that we are spring cleaning. Not only are we physically cleaning, but we are clearing out energy as well. Clearing out the old to make room for the new. Cleaning your space energetically can be as important to your well-being as cleaning it physically. Cleansing the air regularly can help improve the energetic flow in your space and help introduce more positive energy into your home and aura. I curated this box with the intention of giving you tools to use in your clearing, cleansing rituals. Love. Okay, what's that? Okay, moving along. Um, I don't know if I should put my calendar in here. I don't know, I have, I have it hanging up in my office right now. Um, so, possibly giving things away, there is a sticker, I don't know if y'all can see that, hopefully I don't dump the box out, but it is a um, Native American and she's using a uh, feather to fan her smudge. It might be foreshadowing. Okay, speaking of smudge, it looks like bay leaves. We have possibly a bay leaf smudge. Let's see. A lot of you. Oh no, it's um it's eucalyptus. Hmm. Okay. Eucalyptus is a decongestant and anti-inflammatory. It brings fresh energy that improves concentration. Oh my God, I need that so bad. Relieves mental exhaustion and boosts health. It is also used for protection and to remove negative influences. This eucalyptus stick will allow you to refresh and cleanse your space. Eucalyptus has a sharp scent, has a sharp scent, helps clear clogged sinuses and congested chest and makes my nose itch. It calms irritating coughing. It is a natural chemical free insect repellent. As you light the eucalyptus stick and the sweet smoke fills the air, you will be able to sense the dispersal of negative energy if negative energy period. <laughs> it lifts the burden of negativity and puts your mind at ease. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Okay, all right, moving along. <laughs> All right, so we've got some cleansing bath ritual salts. I still want to um, 
to do some of that business, like make some of the uh, like ritual salts, because um, I I totally enjoy a ritual bath, like before ritual, and um, you know I do have Bath and Body stuff that I create. So we've got Sage and Santo cleansing bath ritual salts, sea salt, sage, Palo Santo. Rosemary, lavender, and lavender essential oil. It's a pretty good bag. It's a pretty, um, pretty decent sized bag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smell it. All right, let me see. Sage and Santo cleansing bath ritual salt. These ritual salts, mmm, woo, hold very powerful properties for a cleansing ritual bath. Sage, powdered Palo Santo, rosemary, and lavender were added to get. Yes, uh, added to give you the most powerful combination for cleansing. Our bodies and minds have been through a lot this past year. Everybody keeps saying that. <laughs> I mean, it is. Like, seriously, when is this pandemic going to end, y'all? Take this time to cleanse all that energy away so that you can start over with a clean aura. Yes. A ritual bath is not for cleaning your skin. Rather, it cleans negativity and the cares of the day from your spirit. First, take a shower to get the dirt off. Then run your bath, add the bath salts, and stir clockwise to mix into the water with your hand. This is a good time to set your intention. Sit in your ritual bath and feel all your cares, worries, and negativity going into the water. When you are ready to end your, your bathing ritual, immerse yourself fully, including your head into the bath. As you emerge from the water, you are reborn into your world, goals, and ideas. Now pull the plug and let the water drain while you stay in the water. As the water slowly drains, you will feel all the old energy go down the water. Or down the drain, probably. Yeah. Suggestion. Oh, yeah. I do this. Yes, I do this. So, if you don't want to have, like, all the herbies and stuff in... That's some big-ass salt. Um, if you don't want to have all the herbs, like, floating and getting stuck in your, your drain or having to clean it off the sides of the tub, um, she's telling you the same thing that I do. Put it in a drawstring organza bag because it can still permeate through the, um, the fibers, but you're not, like, having all that mess. So, that is so what I do. Melissa, you are just speaking to me. All right, I need a drink. All right, then we have some chamomint tea. Chamomile flower and peppermint leaf. I love, like, minty tea. So we got this guy. And it says, chamomint tea. This caffeine-free tea will help clear out any congestion or illness from your body. As allergy season approaches, what are you talking about season? I'm always allergic. <laughs> this tea will be your new best friend. This makes a great tea for someone suffering from any congestion, sore throat, cough, stress, or just as a bedtime ritual tea. I, yeah, I like drinking tea. Lately, I've been drinking um, hot apple cider um, that I use some K-cups. Uh, so it has chamomile flower and peppermint leaves, steep, blah, blah, blah. It just tells you how to do that. Um, and also, it warns you of any herbal remedies to consult a physician. All right, and then we have our salve. We've got Shepherd's Purse Hemorrhoid Relief Moontide Cramps. What? I, I don't have any hemorrhoids. I mean, but maybe you do. It's spelled wrong. Anyways, okay, sorry. I'm a nurse. I know how to spell shit. <laughs> uh, there we go. I know how to spell medical shit. Um... Shepherd's Purse in Herb, but nope, that ain't right. Mm -mm. Nope, there it is. Shepherd's Purse Salve. Shepherd's Purse makes a wonderful salve for treating hemorrhoids. She spelled it right in here. It's just there's an extra R in here. Um, it says hermoroid. Her hermoroid. I mean, it could be her hemorrhoids. Her hemorrhoids. It's a play on words. Also helps relieve moon time cramps. I don't even have that. Gently rub salve in a circular motion to warm and transfer to fingertips. Rub into affected area as needed. You know, maybe um, maybe I can give this to my soon-to-be daughter-in-law because, I mean, obviously she's still in... She still has moon time. I certainly don't. Well, it, I, I, you know, I probably should. I just had an IU... The, TMI. TMI. <laughs> I had an IUD. 
and I took it out because my boyfriend's fixed. And I haven't had a period since then, so I don't remember. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I've gone through menopause or anything. Just, you know, my body's just like, mm -hmm. all right. We've, now we've got our shepherd's purse um, herb, which I do not have. And she puts them in these cute jars that sit upright. Love, love. All right. So I shepherd's purse in herb jar also known as witch's pouch magical uses let me hold it up of witcher's per wit what witcher's it's all right shepherd's purse include healing health protection and prosperity spells yes i choose i chose i can i can read i chose chose no i can't i chose shepherd's purse my the brain and the mouth they don't work together this month because of its healing magical properties. It's been a hard past couple of years with viruses running rampant through our entire earth. A healing spell for our families and friends would be a great way to start our year after our cleansing rituals. Oh, great. As Shepherd's Purse is said to protect against all manner of diseases for an entire year. I plan to place this on my spring altar as an offering for protection against viruses. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, we've got a, it says burn sage, not bridges, <laughs> candle, and there is a selenite crystal like stuck to the top. I love it. All right. All those little babies in there. All right. So there's our candle. Mmm. Let's see. Burn sage, not bridges, candle. Ah. Okay, this hand poured soy wax candle was filled with dried white sage leaves and a few drops of sage essential oil. I added a selenite stone to the lid as a cleanser and amplifier, amplifier for your cleansing ritual. You can burn this candle anytime you want to cleanse a room or altar. You don't need to burn it all the way down like you would a spell candle, so you can use multiple times. Always stay with your candle while burning it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's important that you connect with magic in the candle. White sage is also antimicrobial. Burning sage clears out spiritual impurities, pathogens, and even insects. Note, I've upgraded my wicks so that they stay lit and burn cleaner. Great. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Just smell it. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I think I have one of these. These, this this may go into a giveaway <laughs> if it's if it's got what I think it is yes beautiful I have one so it's a selenite um, charging plate here I won't um, so there it is this I will put in a giveaway so guys I just had my 500 recently I'm already over 600 now when I reach a thousand. This is your this is your mission if you choose to accept. <laughs> uh, my next goal is a thousand subscribers. So when I reach that goal, this, my friends, will belong to one of you. Um, and depending on how much stuff I have, um, I might do like multiple, um, like more than one winner. One of the a couple of the subscribers had my subscribers had said, why don't you do more than one winner instead of giving one person like a bazillion trillion things. I could do that. All right, so selenite wand engraved with moon phases. The charging wand naturally cleanses, charges, reactivates, and amplifies crystals and gem stone jewelry when placed upon it. The powerful vibration of selenite activates all chakras. In fact, I need to put some of these new babies on there. To Charge them up. Okay. Um, activates all chakras, especially the crown chakra. Selenite is also great for removing curses and amplifying your magical workings because of its high vibrations. Witches will often keep several pieces of selenite in every room of their home or business. Yes. This selenite wand was engraved with the moon phases to represent Selene. Selenite is named for Selene, Greek goddess of the moon, because of its moonlight glow. It is very soft stone. It is a very soft stone 
which can be scratched easily with a fingernail. Selenite does not retain negative energy and does not have to be cleared. Um, I did a video on selenite, guys. If you are interested in that, I will link it here. Selenite, don't forget, Lisa. Selenite video. Um, and I also have selenite in my shop if you guys are interested. My witchy store down below. It's uh, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. I have um, a heart bowl. I actually have two, but one of them's not listed yet. I need to um, put it in there. And then I've got selenite um, like chunks. They're really cute. They're like um, tumbled, but I don't know. They look like a little baby one that's about this big. Anyways, they're pretty cool. All right. So I'm trying not to get the big thing yet. So then we have space clearing incense. I think I can already smell it. Oh, that smells good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um. Wait. Okay, there must be more things in here. Space clearing incense sticks. These wonderful smelling, yes they are. Incense sticks were created with the intention of clearing energy with, excuse me, clearing energy from your sacred spaces. A green woody fragrance with spicy notes of sage, rosemary, cedarwood, pine needle, frankincense, and palisanto wood. Burn these in your sacred spaces for dispersal of negative and stale energy. Feel that ener energy lift right out of the room. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I can't wait to light one. I, my incense burner's in the other room. I need to have one in here, um, but I don't. This, this room is too small. Like, that's the other thing. Like, I, I was so ready to get into this place, and now I'm like, I'm ready for another place. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this snow. <laughs> All right, so now we have Rosemary Energy Clearing Room Alter Surfaces and Body Spray. So this guy, and of course I'm going to open it and spray it because that's how I roll. Um, Oh, is that it? Okay. Rosemary Energy Clearing Spray. This is the energy clearing spray that I use on my altar to clean between seasons. It makes, what is it called? Rosemary Energy Clearing. Okay. Um, it makes a wonderful natural surface cleanser as well as a room and aura. So this up here so I'm not looking down. Where'd it go? As well as a, as a room and aura cleanse. If you are allergic to sage, then rosemary makes a great alternative for cleansing and clearing energy. Rosemary has antiseptic, I can't get this open. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, here's the little thing to help you out. <laughs> I think I got some in my mouth. Um, rosemary has antiseptic and antioxidant properties. This spray is made from fresh rosemary that was infused in purified water during the three days of the full moon. Just a tiny bit of rosemary essential oil was added to extend the rosemary scent on your surfaces. If you want to spray on your body, it is diluted enough to be safe on your skin. Check with your pharmacist or doctor. Okay. Oh yeah. And I did get some on my body, so we'll just rub it in. Oops, I'm also making a big mess. <laughs> well, didn't she say you can clean your altar with it? Well, there you go. I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Oh, man, I got it all over this paper. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Okay, Lisa, you're making a mess. <laughs> I think I only have one thing left, and it's the big end. you guys to see it just yet. I just want to make sure we don't have anything else. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How many times can Lisa say, okay? All right. So we have this big sachet. What could it be? Oh my God. It's going to be so pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a handmade besom. Okay, first off, let's start from the beginning here. 
We've got amethyst crystal, thank you. There's a little hooky do. There's a hooky do so you can hang it up. Then we've got this possible like tree of life situation. And there's more little amethyst. And then we have a peacock feather. There's like two other feathers and then a peacock feather. <gasps> oh, I love peacocks. Um, I read that they um, can be associated with the sign Aquarius, which is moi. And um, I don't know, I peacocks just kind of, they're just gorgeous. And they're sassy. They're sassy as fuck. Okay. So, oh my God. Okay, I'm cleansing. I'm cleansing. Okay. Oh my God, it's gorgeous, Melissa. Can I hang it somewhere? I've got this little, can you guys see that? There's a little uh, Egyptian besom that I've got um, up there. I don't know where to put it. I, if I put it there, you can't really see it. I don't know. This may go somewhere where I could, maybe I'll just see it right here. Just hang it up there and then, um, and then I could grab it at any time. It's gorgeous. Ah, okay. <laughs> I digress. Let me find the information about handmade besom. This, here, we'll hold it up while we talk. Okay. This handmade besom is adorned with an amethyst crystal at the tip of the handle. Amethyst is not only great for enhancing intuition and awakening your third eye, but it also reduces negative energetic influence. The tree of life was added for its magical properties of harmony and balance and its representation of the element of earth. And the feathers represent air. They move energy as well as bring energy into your space. Each besom is unique and was made with the intention of sweeping away stale negative energy and allowing new positive and productive energy into your home sacred slash sacred space. A besom is often also used to repel evil forces, illness, or negative energy. I always use my ritual broom besom to sweep the air every new moon or to cleanse my sacred space before and after magical work. I also sweep myself when I start to feel ill, unlucky, or when there's a cloud of negative energy over my head. The besom represents water and air. Below is an example of how to use your besom, but remember to do what feels right, right to you and whichever way empowers you. Start at the back of your home or sacred space and move in counterclockwise direction, sweeping the air. You don't want to touch your besom to the floor or surface. Move the air, holding the stale energy out of the room or window. If you're clearing your entire home, then sweep every room toward the front door, then open the door and sweep it out before closing your door again. Same with the window if you're just clearing a single space or your altar. Make sure that you are concentrating on moving the energy and not moving mindlessly. These besoms were charged under the January full moon. Make sure to consecrate your besom as it is a magical tool. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. It's gorge. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Melissa. You are a fabulous freaking woman. Okay, guys, that is our sacred space crate for um, February. And I did forget to read about the um, moon in the zodiac calendar. Um, this is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is especially important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Trick and she's at schmoozy on Instagram. All right, awesome sauce. I love it, I love it. I love it. Obviously, this is my fave thing from the box. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear in the comments below. If you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel doing that, interacting with me. And I appreciate you guys helping me grow this channel. Without you guys, um, I wouldn't have made the goals that I've already made. Again, my next goal is a thousand subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway once I reach that goal. Um, and I was so excited to give um, all the goodies to Farm Girl. Yay, Farm Girl for winning my last giveaway. Um, she got lots of goodies. Um, that was super exciting. So thanks guys again. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Subscribe! <laughs> Did it.
I, 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 uh, I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. We out. <laughs> Have a good day.